like winners. That's what you look like here today. <laughs> Marion Center girls basketball team joins us as we get set for tonight's District 6 girls class double-A championship game against Bishop and Court High School. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Uh, for folks who don't know, go ahead and just introduce yourself so they can get acclimated to your voices one by one. Jackie Fedsko. Hannah Beer. Morgan Glasser. Lakin Ryan. Mia Oderson. Grace Snyder. Taylor Sherrick. And there you go. Those are the girls who will be on the court tonight for the Marion Center Stingers. I think there's a coach hanging around here somewhere, too. Julie, come on over. Come on. And so <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> she did that with such style. She was sliding on in there. So congratulations. You uh, That semifinal game was not easy, was it? No. Oh, no. It was rough. So, so let's talk a little bit about it and, uh, well, more so focus upon how this season has gone and, and how now. How many of you are seniors? Taylor, you're, or you're a junior. Morgan and Hannah, you're the two seniors. Yeah. All right, you're the first two in the cup. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll start with Morgan. Morgan Glasser. It's not like your family uh, doesn't know anything about basketball. We've, we've heard that name once or twice, huh? Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Uh, if we win tonight, that mean all my sisters will have District 6 rings, so yeah. that's what we're working for. <laughs> oh, have they been like lording it over you for all these years saying you don't have one of these? Yeah, <sighs> it's my time now. <laughs> Man, the pressure on you tonight. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. That's something else. But one of the interesting things is it's Marion Center basketball. A lot of you have family who have played basketball for Marion Center. And Morgan, of course, uh, Hannah, you do, Mia, you do. Um, and I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm guessing that uh, you all have players who have played before, sisters or brothers or aunts or uncles or dads or moms. Hannah, as, as one of the seniors on this basketball team, uh, you are one of those girls. We always talk about uh, how in, the, in, in Marion Center games, you guys are all undersized, they say, and you have to go up against usually the biggest kid on the other team. Yeah, I don't know. I've always played a forward since I was younger, so I guess I'm kind of used to it. There's, I guess there's just a certain way that you need to like figure out how to play them. You got to be faster than them, and that type of thing. But I guess I'm always up to the challenge, and it always seems to work out. According, like, apparently this year it did. <laughs> well, with Fetzko standing there beside you, practice, <laughs> practice probably gets a little bit more difficult now. But uh, you get a chance to work on the moves in practice now against a bigger girl, huh? Yeah, Jackie challenges me, and that's what she's supposed to do. Yeah, well, we're going to talk to Jackie in a couple minutes. She's the youngest one in the room. Oh, well, okay, Grace, is, are you younger or is Jackie younger? Who has the? Jackie's the younger. Jackie's the youngest. The How biggest. old are you, Jackie? 15. You're 15. Grace, you're 15 as well. All right. All right. Well, let's talk to the juniors next, okay? Taylor Shear is right next to the microphone, so you're first. Okay. Uh, and, and Taylor spends a lot of her time in a game on the foul line. Yeah. You get hammered down there, don't you? I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but uh, you get the ball on that low post, and uh, there's a lot of times when you, you get it there, and you have to take it up against a bigger girl, and you're good at drawing the foul. Yes. I practice foul shots during practice, and... I'm usually, I usually make them, so. <laughs> that's the best time to be practicing your foul yeah, shots. Yeah, and that's where I get a lot of my points, too, is yeah. foul shots. Yeah, well, that's terrific, and plus you help to break the press. You all have to do that. Uh, Lake and Ryan, uh, you're, are you anxious to start swinging a softball back then? <laughs> yeah, I'm actually super anxious, but right now I'm, I'm just, I'm glad we're in basketball season. I'm glad we've made it this far. Yeah, you're focused a little bit on the round ball right now, huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You have uh, a great ability when you get your shot lined up and your shoulder square. Uh, you're, you're a great three-point shooter. And, Thanks. And you hit, that one, you hit that one the other night when the team really, really needed it down the stretch in the fourth quarter. What did that feel like to finally break that ice? Well, it felt awesome because I know that we ran that same play a few plays before that one, and I heard my coach yell, hit it. So I shot it, and I missed it, and I was like really upset because I knew we were down. And then we ran that play again, and I was open, so I took it. Whenever I made it, it just it felt awesome to get us up, and it, I think it just gave us momentum. Yeah, and, and when a team is not shooting well, and admittedly you weren't shooting well the whole team the other night, uh, to finally break it through and, uh, and to get yourself to the point where all of a sudden you're in a position to win a game that you trailed the whole night, uh, the points like that become really, really big, don't they? Yeah, yeah, it was awesome, especially with our swarm and hearing them all cheering. It, Yeah, it felt awesome. All right, let's talk to Mia Oderson. I like how everybody abandoned Taylor at that microphone over there. <laughs> over there. This must be the championship microphone. I don't know, Taylor. You picked the wrong one there. Uh, Mia, you're the point guard on the basketball team, and uh, you bring so much energy to the team and so much uh, leadership. Um, talk, if you would, about the role of a point guard and how you uh, work so hard at it. Um, the role of the point guard, um, we kind of, oh, I, I know I do personally. I kind of like setting everything up. I like making sure everyone knows where they need to go, setting up the offense. Um, I like having that role 
Um, I like being in control. Um, everyone just, whenever everyone steps up, it's, it's great. I mean, we have been so far. And um, to take it this far, it's great. I mean, just, I don't know, it's awesome. <laughs> Point guard's sort of a family tradition for you, too, yeah, isn't it? Yes, yeah. yes. There have been a few in your family. Mm -hmm. um, do you get all kinds of coaching advice? Yes, um, from my pap, mostly. Um, my aunts text me. Um, all the time about like how I'm doing a great job and everything and like they just give me like tips and pointers on like just going out and playing and um, I don't know just point guard just kind of runs the family. For folks who don't know tell them who your aunts are. Um, my aunt Janet Hess and my aunt Kathy um, Hess. <laughs> they've they've uh, played some basketball down through the years Yes too. they have yes. We remember those names. Mm -hmm. very well. Um, uh, I want to ask you all this question, so we'll bring the others back to the microphone, too. Uh, and, and we still want to talk to, uh, to some of the others that are with us that we haven't had a chance to. But what does it mean to you to be playing for a District 6 championship tonight after all of this hard work? Feels awesome. Exciting. Yeah. Exciting. Awesome, it's exciting. Very yeah. exciting. All, all of those things. Uh, and and it just, I, I just know how thrilling it must be. None of you went to the game last night, right? I did. You did? I did. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, did you know that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like scout out the court and see what it's going to be like, you know, just mm -hmm. uh -huh. get familiar with it for tonight. That's, that's Hannah. The that's, game plan. that's Hannah who's talking. They were supposed to go to bed early. Uh -huh. <laughs> she didn't go. Did you stay for both games, all of them? I left like early for the from the homework game, so like I didn't stay the whole time. Yeah, but I'm not sure. I, I went. I went to bed and I like slept on the car in the car on the way home, so it's okay. <laughs> you weren't driving. Them. No, my dad was. Okay. My dad went with me. Yeah, it was, it's fine. <laughs> what did you think of the court? Because the 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 teams are having real troubles uh, shooting in that with that depth with that background. Yeah, there. um, everything seemed really spread out, and the court seems huge. It's just like a huge room, and I know we haven't played anywhere that big. I know it's gonna be it might be hard for us, but I'm sure we'll adapt to it and perform well. Yeah, tonight. one of the things about that court is there's like 25 feet between the sidelines and the stands, and yeah. so it looks a lot bigger than yeah. the floor really is. It's a huge it's space. So you really, you, you sort of, there's a perspective thing there. You can't really tell when you're on the sideline or not. You have to watch out for that. Yeah, um, that's definitely something we're going to have to keep in mind, and I guess we're just going to be on top of things tonight, so... Hopefully other team makes the mistakes, not us. That's a good plan. <laughs> now, now, we haven't talked yet to the two freshmen, so Grace, you can step to that microphone over there, the Taylor Shearer Memorial microphone. And, uh, Jackie will be at the, at the other one. We'll start with Grace. Uh, Grace Snyder, you come off the bench for this team as a freshman. You bring so much darn energy to the team, though, and I know Coach relies upon you for defense, doesn't she? She throws you. That's it? Just, Yeah. <laughs> I've heard you talk before. I know you can do better than that. Uh, but uh, when when she when she puts you in to play against a tough point guard uh, or or a tough scorer from the other team, what does she tell you? Especially because most of those girls are bigger than you. Yeah, um, coach, uh, she'll put me in, and usually me and Lake and work together on that same girl. And uh, usually she tells me never a gamble against balls. Don't try to steal the ball. Uh, keep her in front of me. Um, Jamma Cotters definitely. Uh, uh, just uh, keep her aligned. Don't let her shoot. Uh, you know, I'm not supposed to really go for the steals unless I'm 100% sure. So um, going out there and having to, uh, you know, again, me and Lakin against uh, the uh, they're good girls. It's a, a big job, but definitely. Tell you what, she, she, you have to take a notebook out with all those things. Okay, don't get in here. Don't do this. Just ask her to wait a second while you go through the book here to see what else you need to do. Jackie Fetzko, uh, there's another player with a, with a little bit of a family history uh, for, for Marion Center. And, um, and I always wanted to ask you this question after seeing you for the first time, um, I think last year, uh, as when you were in eighth grade. Um, how bad of a basketball uh, no, let's put it this way. <laughs> let's put it this way. How much does Big Brother beat up on you in the parking lot? Uh, a when lot. You're playing, when, you're, when you're playing driveway basketball, uh, that must be a lot of fun to play with against him because you, you get to develop some moves, huh? Yeah, yeah, he, he stuffs me a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you use, that's where you learn to use the elbows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> As a freshman, uh, you're a ball player who changes a game when you come in because uh, your height uh, is such a challenge, and especially when teams have been playing against smaller girls. Um, I think they're surprised uh, by the fact that you're so young, uh, and yet you're so skilled for a tall player. Yeah, I've, I don't know, like... 
people are always surprised that I'm a freshman, that I'm a six foot freshman. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and Coach said that she hopes that by the time you're a senior, you're a six four. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think so? I mean, and I'll try. Yeah. <laughs> six weedies. I thought it was six, six. Weedies. 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 Okay. weedies is the deal right there. But uh, it's, it's so much fun to watch all of you play together. Let's get Coach over here for a second and, oh, and talk to her. Oh, yeah. Julie Horner, the head coach. Uh, Julie, if you do this well enough, I won't bother you tonight. I'll just use this as my pregame tonight. How about Is that a bargain for you? Hey, that sounds great. <laughs> Gee, it sounds like she doesn't like it when I bother her. <laughs> all right. It's always fun. The opponent tonight is Bishop McCourt. Tell me about them. Um, they're tough. Uh, they have a lot of size. Um, you know, they have some good shooters. Uh, their, uh, Haley Thomas is um, probably their best player out there on the court, best shooter. Um, like I said, they have size all around, not just in the post area, but the guards are also big and lanky. Uh, so it's, it's going to be a challenge, but um, we're up for it, so, and we're excited. Um, but they're definitely a good team. There's a reason why they're the number one seed. Um, but, you know, we've already taken down the number two, number three. So, you know, why not the number one? Mm -hmm. You're the number seven seed coming into these playoffs. Um, talk about the defensive approach. Do you zone up on them? Or do you try to go man? Um, do you try to find some way to keep Hannah Beer out of foul trouble? <laughs> yeah, that, for sure on that one. We tell her every game, do not get in foul trouble. Like, oh, mm. I won't coach. I won't coach. Um, <laughs> But anyways, uh, you know, we're, we're going to mix it up. Um, you know, we're primarily a man-to-man -man team. Um, it's gotten us this far, uh, but we understand that each game is different, each opponent is different, and tonight, you know, the game plan is to mix it up between a little man and a little matchup zone. Um, we'll, we'll see how the game progresses, but um, the plan right now is to mix the defensive schemes up. Tell me about uh, this group of girls. Uh, not only the ones who have been able to come in and visit with us today, but the entire team. Uh, you know what? All 15 of, of um, these girls, this team, is they're just a special group. Uh, hard workers from day one. Um, actually, you know, from last year, and, and uh, you know, we kind of told ourselves we were disappointed in ourselves not making playoffs last year, and, and we just kind of, you know, said we're, we're doing it. Uh, we're going to work harder, and, and every day they, they came into the gym and, and, you know, pushed each other, challenged each other, um, you know, and this is just a really special group, uh, hard workers, uh, persevering.